to Do Go On, the quiz show. My name is Dave Warnicke, and on each episode of this show, we pick one big topic and find out how much we really know all about it. Let's meet our first team captain. Now, they say you can't come up with your own nickname. I should know. Call me Cobra. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, our first team captain about eight years ago asked us to start calling her Bop and it somehow stuck. I'm talking about Jess Bop Perkins. <laughs> and our other team captain, now this man has never asked for a nickname, but with a name this unique, why would you bother? It's Matt Stewart. <laughs> Call me the Viper. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Jess Bob Perkins, yes. who have you got on your team tonight? Well, speaking of names, um, I love to make names portmanteaus. Is that a thing? Yeah. And um, this is my favourite my favorite name to turn into a portmanteau. I call him Jill. It's Josh Hey! <laughs> and the Viper. Who's joining you tonight? Well, I can't stand portmanteaus. <laughs> what I love is spoonerisms, and that's why I invited my guest on tonight, Manky McFrey. <laughs> <laughs> I lost control of that. I lost control. I don't no? think that's. I don't think I spoonerized that correctly. No, you said it with a lot of confidence. What is a portmanteau? Well, you kind of like. You kind of. You. You know. <laughs> Combine two words into one word. Yeah. What would my what would my portmanteau be? You'd be Frere. Frankie Frere? McFrey. Frere? Like chair. Yeah. <laughs> Frere. Well, that Frere. Was Do you know an anagram of my name is jar holes? <laughs> <laughs> New nickname. Yeah. Jar holes. Yeah. Should we get jar holes? Jar started? holes would be a lot better on this show, yeah. Death to Jill. <laughs> Death well, to jar holes. The jar hole is like that's a, that's a, a big as hole. Big, yeah, ratio yeah. wise, that's as big as a hole can be. Yeah. It's the whole jar. Oh. When it's you think of me, hole. you think of a big hole. <laughs> no? Too rude? Okay, fair enough. Uh, yeah, Joe, this is a G show on the web. I'm not oh. sure that's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, to get us on to topic, we have our first question. Hands on buzzers. First point up for grabs. Since 2010, what has held the top spot as the most visited website in the world? Ooh. Ooh that's fun. <laughs> it's uh, Matt and Frankie. Um, you've been on the internet though. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what's say, a big, you, big Is it actually like a G? Is it actually a G show? It is absolutely not no. a fucking G show. Okay! <laughs> it's gonna be a porn website, right? Yeah. It's gonna be like, like Pornhub. <laughs> Pornhub! <laughs> Can we lock in Pornhub? <laughs> Pornhub! <laughs> All aboard! <laughs> They're locking in Pornhub. I'm afraid that is incorrect. You're not oh the no! Now I'm too horny to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go over to Jarhole and Bop. Mm. Is it the world's biggest search engine, Google.com? It is Google.com! No! Our first... How do you get to Pop? Yeah. yeah, exactly. That, that, that feels like a trick because I just assume that's part of the computer. <laughs> <laughs> It came with the computer. You all, when you said it's not a G show, I'm like, oh, not Google then. I thought, <laughs> I genuinely thought you were ruling out Google. But all I, right. I, I said my porn help. <laughs> I want to see the data. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is Google.com. Here's my little flashing graphic. Oh my God, look at it go. That took me three hours. These days they handle 8.5 billion searches per day, which is 99,000 searches every single second. I reckon about 98,000 are the words Pornhub, so partial <laughs> credit. But Google have dozens of products many of us use every single day. How much do we know about Google? And it's not just bragging points on the line tonight. We have a prize that we're all playing for this evening. It's a Google mug! Oh my, oh my god. god! Oh my god! And I bought it off eBay for a $7.99, so that's I don't know. what we're playing for. I don't know, I'm not sure if I get the joke. I don't know. just know everything. Uh, right. That's, I don't that's think actually I need pretty to win. <laughs> I don't think I need to win for the mug. <laughs> <laughs> we will have to share the mug anyway when we win. We can do weekend on weekend off. Fantastic. <laughs> the weekdays, we'll put it in the bin. And, <laughs> and if bin day happens to be in the weekdays, then I guess we lose it. Oh no! And if we win, we can be like my parents and just like, I'll say I'll have it and then on the weekend I'll be too busy and you'll just stay. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. <laughs> oh great, so I've just got the mug all the time now. Great. Hey, hey, you know, I'll, I'm good for I'm good for the child. We bought that mug together. <laughs> Jess, you make a great mug, Mum. <laughs> Alright, our next question is, and you can just 
have a crack here. In what year was Google Inc. first founded? When was, when, when was the internet made? I think it's pretty recent. I reckon 2018? I reckon, <laughs> I reckon, I reckon Google was like 1992. 1992. Is that right? What do you think? Someone Because I remember being on Yahoo. That was the search engine when I was in high school, which was from 93 to 96. So you had internet in high school in the early 90s. No, well, in the late 90s or mid 90s, yeah, there was internet. Wow. Uh, I, what do you, I'm going to say 98. I think it's going to be one of those things where oh. the company has existed yep. for longer. Go for it. I Jess, I Jess. <clears throat> I reckon you should go with what Josh oh, so said. So I think... <laughs> I think I've got to say we're what gonna, Josh said. We're going to say, and if, have we locked ours in yet? <laughs> I'm afraid you locked in 92. No, I didn't say it with confidence, though. So we can <laughs> oh, okay, okay. put in anything we want. Yes. So they're, saying, gonna... they're saying 98, what are you saying? Well, after what went on there, we're going to have to say 2002. <laughs> <laughs> it is 1998. Well oh, done. Well done. That. That's when Google started, but the story starts in 1995 when Larry Page met fellow 22-year-old Sergey Brin at Stanford University. There they are on the screen. Okay, neither of them are called Google. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. A couple of cool dudes. <laughs> they didn't know it, but one day they would go on to be the sixth and seventh wealthiest people on the planet. Oh, brutal. Who's sixth and who's seven? Oh. I don't know. I can't remember which is oh, which. Okay. I'll say Larry Page, because they called it Google Pages after him. <gasps> Is that true? Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> I can tell you it is fucking true. Oh. <laughs> Let me go. Sergey Brin was a second year grad student in the computer science department at Stanford who was assigned to give a tour to Larry Page who was thinking about studying at Stanford where Sergey was a second year grad student. Google started as a research project by Larry Page. Started life under another name though. What was it originally called? This is a multiple choice. What was Google's original name? Was it A? Pornhub. <laughs> that is close. <laughs> That's close. <laughs> Back rub. <laughs> B, foot massage. Stop. No. Okay. C, exfoliate. Oh. Or D, Project 69. <laughs> really? Okay, I was waiting for the serious one. <laughs> like, it's not going to be Project 69. Oh, that no. would be fucking awesome. That would be actually bad. That is, but it is two dudes coming up with a... Yeah, do you, want, do you want me to get those like, guys back on the screen? Two dudes coming in together, <laughs> putting their heads together. No, that's not how they work. Um, <laughs> Have you? Oh, yeah, they yeah. are. I've been the in reverse there. 69 going on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it what it would can't you be exfoliate, right? I reckon it's exfoliate. Okay, we're we'll locking in like exfoliate. The, the least, like, you're not going on, I need to know I flights, I'm going to look at foot massage. <laughs> I feel like back rubs. Catchy. You're wrong. <laughs> oh, I don't... No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> Are you going exfoliate? Yeah. I think it's exfoliate. Okay, they're going exfoliate. What do you think? I have no idea. But I, I, I think it's back rub. I think it's A, back rub. Okay. I can reveal one of you is correct. <gasps> the answer is back oh. rub. <laughs> it was. Which is a little bit creepy. Imagine if now instead of telling someone to Google it, you're like, just back rub it. Just back <laughs> That sounds so yeah, weird. Rub one out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> to search. What's wrong with this? <laughs> so a point there. So Larry Page's project looked into the way pages linked to each other on the rapidly developing World Wide Web. The project conceived a system that would crawl the internet to determine which pages were linking to other pages, which was used to rank them on importance. The maths on this was extremely complicated, so Larry Page got his old mate, Sergey Brin, on board. They called the algorithm PageRank. There you go. Which is a pun on Larry Page's name, but also ranks the internet pages. That's good stuff, that people. Come on. Come on. That's fun. <laughs> you can't deny that that's a bit of fun. It's important to have fun at work. Yeah. <laughs> it's been eight hours there, you know. Yeah, you've got to have fun. <laughs> Where you can. Inject a bit of fun in your day. You know, you yeah. know, you know. Stop and smell the roses, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Now, the two of them realised that a search engine based on page rank would produce better results than existing techniques. Basically, at the time, existing search engines essentially ranked results recording on how many times the search term appeared on a page. So if your page just said the word porn a thousand times, it would come up first. <laughs> so they created this new thing as a groundbreaking search engine, but they decided to change the name from Backrub to Google 
Any ideas where the word Google comes from? Do you know where this comes from? Yes. <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is it, Jess? It's a number, isn't it? It what? is? Yeah. It's... Matthew? It's a number with a fuck ton of zeros. It's... Do you know how many? Yeah, it's... it's... Fuck ton? Fuck ton. I know it's this as well. Ton. You know this? Yeah, it is a number. It is a really big number. It's uh, the one after 73. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Google's a word, <laughs> not a number. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to bump it that many times. Sensitive. So it's one with a hundred zeros after it. That is correct. But it's not spelled, it's not spelled how they spell it. Exactly, it is a misspelling of Google, G-O-O-G-O-L, the number one followed by hundred zeros, which was picked to signify that the search engine was intended to provide large quantities of information. Oh. This is what a Google looks like. That is a Google. Oh, it's, yuck! It's spelled G-O-O-G-O-L, right? Yeah. <laughs> When they went to name it Google, it should have said, did you mean G-O-O-G-O-L? Like, it really should. Not the dart. <laughs> and should there be a comma right at the end? That is a typo. <laughs> that is a, honestly, a point for you. Yeah. Back in the day... In your little bell, I, I noticed a typo. Back in the day, if you type... If you Googled the letter or the number zero, that came up because it had the number zero a hundred times. <laughs> Bit of a Google joke there. All right. Uh, <laughs> but the question is, next one, this is a multiple choice again. Who or what coined the term Google, the number? Was it A, a computer? Was it B, US President Woodrow Wilson? Oh, uh, he was a dreamboat. <laughs> if I'm remembering correctly. Was it C, a nine-year-old boy? He's a dream. No, sorry. <laughs> Or D, William Shakespeare. Oh, oh, everything comes from Shakespeare. He came up with a lot of words. <laughs> he came up with my name. Did he really? He came, Jess yeah. Perkins. Jess Perkins. <laughs> How? He did it. <laughs> Appeared in a dream. <laughs> a Midsummer Night's one. <laughs> uh, I, I, can I look in? I, I think it's B because... If you look at Woodrow Wilson, you'll see it has WWW in it. Oh. oh. And four O's that yeah. look like zeros. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Which is what, if you put them together, it makes. Um, yeah. <laughs> it goes all the way to the top. I'm back in Josh. All right. Well, I'm going to, I'm like, I think it's C, and I reckon he very cleverly didn't write his name down because his name is Google Google. <laughs> <laughs> That's about as dumb as anything I've said. Yeah. <laughs> let's do that. So you're saying Woodrow, you're saying a nine-year-old boy? <laughs> Google, Google. Google, Google. <laughs> Mr. Google, Google. Yeah. Well, that's that. <laughs> Again, one of you is correct. The term Google was coined by a nine-year-old boy. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely right. But I think that's after was <laughs> that nine-year-old boy Woodrow Wilson? <laughs> no, and he wasn't Google, Google either. Oh, I'm sorry. No. What? See, American mathematician Dr. Edward Kasson asked his nine-year-old nephew, Milton. He asked him, <laughs> he said, think up a name for a very big number, namely one with a hundred zeros after it. Milton said it was a silly number that needed a silly name and blurted out, Google. And that's the word his uncle went with. So a nine-year-old boy just named a number and he wasn't done that day because he also came up with another word, a Googleplex, which he defined as one followed by writing zeros until you get tired. <laughs> Which is obviously cute and fun, but his uncle, being a mathematician, found that to be a little bit too silly. <laughs> Playtime was over, <laughs> and he needed a definitive number. Such a fun guy. So he proposed that such a number would be 10 to the power of a Google, which is so massive it can't really even be described. But that's not the largest number I found. Much bigger than a Googleplex is my new favourite number, and it's called Graham's Number. <laughs> <laughs> Named after a mathematician... Ronald Graham, yes, who was also an accomplished trampolinist and served as president of the International Jugglers Association. <laughs> yes! And here he is appearing to spin a planet on his finger. <laughs> oh, my king! <laughs> and he came up with a number. Graham's number is so big it cannot be represented in the observable universe. It, it's, oh, hang on, sorry. Is that, I'm sorry. That's, that's math speak for like, yeah, I've got a girl, she chose another school, you wouldn't know her. That's what that is. Oh, it's, it's so big, I can't even write it down for you. That's how big my number is. That's 
Firstly, I like that he did what I assumed the kid would do, which is name the number after himself. Yeah. Be like, Milton! It's yeah. called Milton! <laughs> no, he was just like, I'm a grown man. <laughs> Graham's number! <laughs> He's my new hero. I love just, it. Sorry, just looking, I don't think anyone asked for Graham's number ever. <laughs> <laughs> He's a juggler and trampoline. Not even when he was like, but watch me do this. <laughs> what, can, so, can I just say that I've got a number that's bigger than Graham's number, because if his can't it's, be defined... It's Frankie's number, Graham's number, plus one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can I do that? Am I, yeah, like, a mathematician yeah, yeah. now? And it's interesting you say that because um, I actually also have a number... No! Um, ..and it's five times Frankie's number. No! <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. I wish I, I could think of a higher number than that. <laughs> I really needed that, Jess. I'm sorry. I, I mean, what do you want me to do? Not tell you the truth? But I have a bigger number. It's actually bigger than the universe, so. <laughs> no. Well, looking at the scores, I'm afraid Frankie's number right now is on one. Matt and Frankie on one point. Woo! On the board. On the board. And Josh and Jess currently on three points. Yeah. That's us. Closer to Graham's number. A little bit closer. <laughs> All right, going back to Google, originally the Backrub and then Google website was hosted on Stanford's server, but the project used nearly half of Stanford's entire network bandwidth. So they registered Google.com in 1997, soliciting funds from the university, faculty members, family and friends. Bryn and Paige scraped together enough to buy some servers and set up shop in a garage. Classic garage set up, but by mid-1998, the founders finally realised the further potential of their project. Sergey Bryn later said, pretty soon we had 10,000 searches a day. And we figured, maybe this is really real. But they tried to cash out early. In 1999, the two founders tried to sell Google.com to the then popular website, Excite.com. <laughs> you know, that website we all use every <laughs> single day. They had a chance to buy Google. How much do you reckon Google offered to sell themselves to Excite.com for? A Google dollars. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna tell you, it's a lot smaller. Okay. All right, smaller than a Google. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be something shit. I'm well, and it's like nineteen ninety seven dollars. Nineteen ninety nine dollars. Oh, okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be like Sorry, factoring grand. that in. Yeah. Ten grand or hundred grand or. I don't know. I was like a baby then, so. <laughs> <laughs> Do they even have numbers then? <laughs> um, I reckon like twenty grand. Twenty grand. That's what we reckon. Twenty grand. I reckon a bit more. Um, yeah, I was thinking like in the hundreds of thousands. Do you want to say a hundred thousand? Yeah, hundred thousand. It was a little bit more. They they tried to get slightly more. They asked for $1 million. Oh, what's wrong with us? <laughs> but the Stop offer... listening to me! <laughs> the offer was rejected. Excite.com said, absolutely not. And Google were like, okay, will you take 750000 That was also rejected. That's good negotiating from Google. Yeah. Uh, so they, Google had to keep going on themselves. Excite.com merged with the at-home network and they filed for bankruptcy just two years later in 2001. Ooh. They so, couldn't afford it, probably, is why they didn't buy it. They didn't, they didn't have a million. No, at the time, they had they were a billion dollar company. They had lots of money, but they, they said, no a, thanks to Google. They lost a billion in two years. Yeah. What are they, just as dog company? <laughs> perfect joke. A perfect so do you know, joke. So the at-home company, that was they called. Yeah, so they fold it. So imagine going and going, you know how we call the at-home company? Well, it's going to be really fitting now. We're all going to be at home because <laughs> we're closing. Oh, working at home? Yeah. No. No. Well, you can if you want, but not for us. <laughs> <laughs> so they went on without Excite, and with a US $1 million loan from friends and family, the growing team eventually moved to a building in Mountain View, California, which they outgrew. And in 2004, they moved to another building that they called the Googleplex. Isn't oh, the kid. Yeah. Get it? Get it? But is Milton like happy about this or is he feeling like they're ripping him off? He's well dead. Oh. <laughs> He's well dead. <laughs> so yeah, they, they called it the Googleplex, uh, which is also a portmanteau. It's also a portmanteau. I've even got it in the script here. Yeah. This is a, an example of a portmanteau of Google and complex Googleplex. <gasps> Do you get that it? It's all come together. Yeah, how good is that? It's like the words. Oh my God. Let's yeah. go. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> So How's any your dog company going anyway? <laughs> Still in financial trouble? Yes, Matt. And I'd ask you not to bring it up in front of everyone. You know, it's, it's a real weight on my shoulders. My dog company <laughs> is suffering. 
<laughs> my company that's either products for dogs or I'm a breeder or my dog owns a company. <laughs> Any of those could be true and are true, and it's not going well. Oh, the CEO doesn't even know what her company does. Weird that they're going bankrupt. <laughs> the dog is the CEO, <laughs> and he eats his own shit. It's not a good business model. I said that from day one. Well, any new brand needs a great logo, but what was Google's original logo? Four more options here. Which of these was the original Google logo way back then? Was it A? Google. <laughs> <laughs> B. Google. Ooh, oh. That's fantastic. Bring it back. C. Google. Oh, that does suck. Or D. Google. Oh. oh, yeah. Here are all four together. One of those was the original <laughs> Google logo. We'll go with Frankie and Matt to lock in first this time. The a, bottom B, C, one looks D. like it's probably it. I mean, I want it to be B, but I think that's too cool. I reckon, too good, I reckon yeah. it's D because that one, that one looks like, I don't know, it looks like Pong, you know? Yeah, <laughs> that's got, it's got a real Pong about it. By the way, this shirt I just put on, it, you know when you, the wash didn't quite do it and it smells worse than before. <laughs> that's <laughs> never happened to me. <laughs> Did you know you that musty Yeah, mess? did you leave it in the wash before I think it might have, taking it? It might have been left in the wash. Yeah. Anyway. We'll go, go with D. D. <laughs> Inspired by Matt's Pong. Fantastic. <laughs> of these beautiful logos, one of them, it was their earliest logo. Well, I was also going to say D, but that's yeah, D. Yeah, I also think it's D. Yeah. And we can say the same. Oh, we can say. But that would be boring, wouldn't yes. it? Yes. C looks like, uh, you know, when you have a child and you put their name above their crib. That's what that looks like. <laughs> yeah. Name your kid Google. Yeah. Um, it, it looks like the old, like, printing press tablets. Yeah. 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 The, the, no, the, I, I get it. Yeah, the stamps. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's why I think it, that's a chance. Maybe. Maybe that was giving it a nod to that. So do you want to go C then? We'll go D. Oh no, I okay. reckon we're good. <laughs> we'll go. We'll go. We'll go C then. We'll go C. Yeah. We've got to C. We've got to D. The real logo. Can't be B. It is. It is D. Yeah. Well done. It is D. A point. Well done. In Frankie. Nine... That was all Frankie. Great work. That was all your pong, sir. Oh no, that's right. Sorry, team. Team, <laughs> team effort. <laughs> Uh, I point to you, in 1998, Larry Page created a computerised version of the Google letters using the free graphics program GIMP. So this was the original logo. GIMP, uh, back rub, this is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Can you believe it? <laughs> the famous symbol we all know was first designed by Ruth Cader, who describes this obviously radical logo. She says, there are a lot of different colour iterations. We ended up with the primary colours, but instead of having the pattern go in order, we put a secondary colour on the L, which brought back the idea that Google doesn't follow the rules. <laughs> <laughs> that is what I think every time I open Google. I'm like, these fucking guys are crazy. Whoa. But before, before you laugh at Ruth, let me tell you that she practices the martial art of Aikido and holds the rank of Godan fifth degree black belt. Don't mess with Ruth. Can I get a, can I get a single shot on me and Frankie? <laughs> That's a double, I guess. But <laughs> is the Matt, what's her name? Ruth. Oh, Ruth. No. Hey, Ruth. This is, I'm, Frankie just said to me, and I agree with her, you're no good. <laughs> you're no good, and we'd say to your stupid face if you had the balls to be here. Oh, no, Ruth, don't come find me. <laughs> <laughs> don't, Ruth. You're so bad. <laughs> Look at that L. <laughs> That's crazy. There have been thousands of temporary Google homepages over the years. Drawings referred to as Google Doodles. The first Google Doodle, was this one? Oh. Woo! It honoured the 1998 edition of Burning Man, an event long attended by co founders Larry and Sergey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. I saw them before. <laughs> they called their company Backrub. They're going around Burning Man offering Backrub. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone who wants one, oh, yuck. They changed their logo to notify users they were out of the office in case the server crashed. <laughs> Badass. They love Burning Man so much, they hired their first CEO, Eric Schmidt, after they heard he also liked Burning Man. <laughs> Do you want to be our CEO? <laughs> and he stayed on for 10 years. Unbelievable. But since then, 5,000 Google Doodles have been produced by the artists to celebrate people or events. But who are these doodles depicting hands on buzzers? First one is, who is this honouring or celebrating? Oh, Ooh, Josh and Jess. Yes, Jess. Is that um, Marie Curie? It is Marie Curie. Well done. Yay! 
you, you recognise her from, from, yes, from this? Yes, I'm a fan of her work. <laughs> did, did you know that was, like, she was dealing with, like, potions, not potions, but, like... <laughs> She's a witch. Chemicals and not just red wine, which is what I thought it was. <laughs> I thought she was having a nice rosé. <laughs> <laughs> just a woman sitting by a window having a glass of wine. You're like, what? He'll be back. <laughs> He'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Come back. All right, next one. Who's this? Is it... Uh, Frankie and Matt? Because it looks like Audrey Hepburn. It looks right? like Audrey Hepburn, but like a, like a, like a cool French drawing on Oh, so maybe it's the French artist. Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> the French Audrey Hepburn? I don't know. Is it Audrey Hepburn? I'll take it. It's Audrey Hepburn. Yes! Take it. For, for her 85th birthday. You were, you were letting us fuck that up. You were giving us time to. And we refused. Yeah. All right, third one. Who is this one celebrating? Oh, we have a Matt. Lionel Rose. Lionel Rose is correct. Well Yay! done. A boxer, first Indigenous Australian to win a World Championship sports title, Rose was inducted into the Sport Australian Hall of Fame on this day in 1985. That's what that was celebrating. All right, next one. Who is this? Matt on fire with the buzzer. It's Albert Einstein, isn't it? No, I think it's Beethoven. Right? Beethoven, a... Beethoven. Frankie Riggs, Beethoven. There's a, there's, a, there's a piano. Yeah, but that's... Einstein was a... <laughs> he had a guitar band, but... <laughs> no. no, okay, we'll, yeah, we'll go with... Well, I hadn't heard Which one are you lucky? Beethoven. 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 Yeah. Beethoven is correct. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> He's 245th birthday. My God. All right, next one. Who's this? Celebrating. Oh, well, we're over to Jess and Josh for this Yeah, one. but I regret it. <laughs> yeah. mm. no, I, little re I, I reckon Hans Christian Andersen, who wrote, like, fairy tales. Definitely in the, the right or in Grimm. The, brothers. the Grimm brothers. Afraid I have heard a second buzz in over here. What was the what was the, the brothers Grimm? The brothers Grimm is correct. Yeah. 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 Where's the brothers? Grimm? But good instincts over there. Merchants. Oh. All right, final one. Who's this? A little bit more obscure. Oh. What? Are the, what? Oh. <laughs> Granny Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, not a bad guess. Any? Is it um, Isaac Newton? It is Isaac Newton. Yeah. Yeah. That's well done. Very good. Famous apple farmer. Celebrating his 367th birthday. <laughs> One of the big ones. Well, All right. I think that's the, the apple anniversary. Uh, you get 10 <laughs> for 10, <laughs> working up to three, six, whatever, apples. What I reckon Google would have for your 316th birthday? What little... Oh, picture? what did they have? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, they, they gave me a back problem. It was lovely. <laughs> Well, after Not that, everyone has to be showy and do it online. They just gave me a private present. <laughs> <laughs> after that round, there's been some movement in the scores. Now on five points, it's Josh and Jess. <laughs> but now in front by one on six points, it's Frankie and Matt. <laughs> <laughs> it's close. <laughs> right, our next question is, uh, early on, Google developed a company motto. Buzz, any of you know what that motto was? Google's motto. <laughs> Was it Don't Be Evil? It is Don't Be Evil! What? It is! This guy! Oh my god! Well, I know, I know about it because uh, they quietly got rid of that a few years ago. In I was like, why are you saying that you're no yeah. longer being... <laughs> yeah, in 2015 they quietly got rid of that where the motto was changed to Do the right thing. They've softened it, haven't yeah. they? They've, re they've softened it from not being evil. Yeah, that's right. They've, now it's necessary evil. Mm. Don't Be Evil is still at the very end of their code of conduct, though, so there you go. Now, to Google something has become a commonly used transitive verb. Another multiple choice. What TV show has the first recorded use of the phrase to Google something? Ooh. Becca. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, they really were state of the art. <laughs> no, uh, that was a joke. It's, uh, we well, let's see if it's on my list. It might be here. Oh, okay. Yes. Who was the first people to say, oh, let's Lord Google Becker. something? Was it A, The X-Files? <gasps> B, The Simpsons? C, Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Or D, Agro's <laughs> Connection? <laughs> One of these people... No, I know, Ag Agro, they were all about Ask Jeeves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, well, I'm, I'm just going to have a guess here. I think uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Mm. Is that the closest to Becca up there? Do yeah, you? it starts with a B. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just of the yeah of the right time. I mean, so are the X Files and Simpsons, but still. No, nah, like, but yeah. Buffy. 
of the right time. <laughs> so say no more. We all, we all know we what you mean. Say Buffy. They're saying Buffy. I've been watching the X-Files and they did... Me too. Yeah? Did yeah. you see... They Googled something on that. Did you watch I'm the same as me? I'm still season one. Oh, I'm you're not watching? <laughs> Why would you be watching the same as me? Um, <laughs> so, oh, yeah, the one you watched, we well, watched like, the other night. Oh. I don't know, I don't know, Mulder. Maybe we should Google it. <laughs> but, yeah, they were Googling. And it's not my, my favourite... Because sometimes I have to do a fake one in certain shows. Yes. Oh. And in The Good Wife... A, and that turned into the good fight. Their fake one was called Chum Hum. <laughs> <laughs> and did they say, just Chum, chum Hum? Yeah, just Chum Hum it. And the <laughs> Chum Hum guy was in all these court cases and stuff. It was clearly meant to be Google, but they went with Chum Hum. That's good so stuff. You're watching X Files and The Good Wife. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just getting a I real got range. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I also thought Buffy, but let's. Do you want to do something fun? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do something um, fun and spontaneous? Do you want to do um, A, The X-Files? Sure. Greatest show? Yeah, but you did think it was Buffy. I thought it was Buffy, but they say Buffy. Yeah. And we're beating them, so... Yeah. So I guess we're normally right. <laughs> Odds are. <laughs> so you're saying, Buffy, you're saying X-Files? Yeah. We want to believe. <laughs> <laughs> well, the truth is out there and we're about to find out what it is now. The answer is... It's C. Yeah. It is Buffy. Yeah. Well done. Well done. And it's all the way back October 15, 2002, in the fourth episode of the show's final season, the Scooby Gang are talking about a student, Cassie Newton, who thinks she's going to die. Character Willow turns to Buffy and asks, have you Googled her yet? The character Xander answers, she's 17. Willow clarifies, it's a search engine. <laughs> it's a very confusing exchange. <laughs> very confusing exchange. Maybe he just doesn't think she'd have an online presence yet. She's 17. You can't be on Google until you're 18. Yeah. You idiot, Willow. Come on, Willow. Uh, maybe make a good suggestion next time, idiot. Yeah, maybe use your witch spells to not be an as as stupid. <laughs> yeah, like that. Cast one of the spells and gives you a half a brain. <laughs> you have a dark energy tonight. Yeah, yeah that's just tonight. <laughs> So Google something was added to the dictionary in 2006, but the same year Google came out and said they don't like it when people use their name colloquially because it could mean it falls into common use and then could lose their trademark on the word. Ooh. They even gave some examples of other words where this has happened. Zippers, baby oil, brassiers, trampolines. They wrote a blog saying, you can only Google on the Google search engine. If you absolutely must use one of our competitors, please feel free to search on Yahoo or some other search engine. What a pack of so, nerds. Yeah, because they, they, they stole the word anyway. Yeah. So, like, they stole it from that weird kid. saying, I'm going to Google it on Yahoo? Yeah. Like, shut up. <laughs> Use my name to like, bop things. <laughs> bop it up. Bop it. Just bop it. Should we bop it? Yeah. Something like that. Do you think Jess is bringing a bit of a dark energy to her? <laughs> no, she's radiant. It's you I'm concerned about. <laughs> I feel seen. <laughs> Google got into the email game when it launched Gmail in 2004. It went live on April 1st that year. So at the time, people thought it was an April Fool's prank. They were like, Google, an email, good one. <laughs> what are they like? But it was true. And since then, 1.5 billion people have signed up for a Gmail account. Do you remember your first ever emails? Was it? Yeah. What, what were you, what were you on? definitely not Gmail. No, it was a uni account. So it was jerl at utas.edu.au. Yeah. Still, it still works if you want to email me. Uh, <laughs> That's great. I've got the password, but it's still there. <laughs> Jess, first email? Um, Jess the Great. <laughs> yes. Underscore 16, my favourite number. I miss that email every day. Yeah, it wasn't funny. <laughs> I do have another first one, but it was inappropriate. And I, oh, I, wow. I won't be sharing that oh publicly. So we'll go with Jess the Great, nice and boring. What about you guys? <laughs> uh, Frankie, any, any first email? It was just my full name at Hotmail, and then I made the switch to Gmail, and I had to email everyone that I was closing that email. <laughs> but now... It's just my full name, including middle name, so typing it just takes so fucking long. Yeah. And I don't even go by my first name anymore. I use Frankie now. So everyone who gets an email from me calls me Francis. Anyway, I'm tired. <laughs> 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 well, my email was wiener at the beach at hotmail.com, so there you go. 
Getting an email is all about getting in early and registering a name. 1.8 billion Gmail usernames are already taken, but there are some still available. As of last night, which of these is a Gmail that is still available? Whoa. So three are taken and one was available for me to register. Was it A, I love hotmail69 at gmail.com? <laughs> B, please, please, please do not email me at gmail.com? <laughs> C, my other email is a car at gmail.com? <laughs> Or D, poo.poo.poo.poo.poo.poo at gmail.com. That's almost that a one. poogle. Poo, like Google with <laughs> a lot of O's. So you're saying poogle. only one is available. You're your head. Three are taken. So, th so we have three emails of these people that we can just email them. Absolutely. <laughs> Great. Yes. I'm so sorry to all those three people. That poo one's definitely taken. Mm. That's so funny. Yeah, and I had to put a lot of like full stops in my email address to get it because I have a really vanilla basic name. So I reckon poo 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 is already taken. Yeah. That's what I had to put in the dots. Yeah. Um, but do you think if, when I put the dots in, was it still taken or was that up for grabs last night? Any thoughts, Joe? Uh, look, I, th I really like my other email as a car, but I reckon someone's taken that. Yeah. So let's go, we'll, we'll go D. We'll go that many poos yep. at gmail.com. Yeah, that specifically, that yeah. many poos. You're going for D? Yep. Frankie and Matt. Because uh, we've got to think of the, uh, the one that Dave would have come up with that no one else could have. Well, we've already what? had a 69 one in there. Yeah. We've already had a 69 gag. That was a lie. Yeah, that's the mind of Dave Warnick. So maybe you got 69 on the brain, brother. Mm. I don't apologise. <laughs> uh, do you want to go A or B? Uh, B is so boring that I think Dave might have come up with it. <laughs> We're going to lock in B. I think B sounds really To be honest, I've come up with all of those. I typed them all in and I couldn't believe any of them were taken, but yeah. three of them were. Amazing. Can, I reckon B. I reckon B's up for So grass. you've got... We've gone B, we've gone D. I can reveal the answer is... I am a basic oh. bitch. It is me. Did we get that? We got that. Well done, correct. Is that what we said? Yeah. I can tell you, I first started with please, please do not email me at gmail.com and that was taken. So I had to add an extra please. So nice to see the process. <laughs> I mean, poo.poo.poo. Poo.poo.poo.poo.poo. I kept typing poo dot poo <laughs> dot poo and I was like, it said taken, taken, taken. I was like, fuck, poo, 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 poo. I was like, this won't be taken. It was like, sorry, brother, it's taken. <laughs> Uh, but please don't email me at gmail.com. And I said as of last night it wasn't taken because I have now registered. Please, please, please do not email me at gmail.com and feel free to drop me a line. A uh, fun fact, you're not allowed to register Google sucks at gmail.com. There you go. Censorship. Yeah, it's gone mad. <laughs> They've changed since their days at Burning Man, don't you reckon? <laughs> yeah. Since what happened in our rules? <laughs> Part of navigating the internet and Google in the 21st century is identifying fake information. The next round is called, Is This Matt Stewart? When you Google Matt, Ooh. he comes up, but so do a million other Matt Stewart's. I'm going to give you four photos now. I'm going to be good at this. <laughs> Which one of these is not Matt Stewart? Is this Matt Stewart? No. Yes. Yeah. Is this Matt Stewart? Ooh. God, they all could be. Is this Matt Stewart? Ooh. That looks a bit like Big Boy McAvoy, the footballer. <laughs> or is this Matt Stewart? So three of them are, one of them is not. Who? It's not Matt Stewart. It's funny because if I go, like, you know, if I happen to Google my name, <laughs> <laughs> didn't realise what I was admitting to there. But um, if I did, sometimes I've got to find photos. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was expecting to see like the there's a footballer Matt Stewart, there's a painter Matt Stewart, and there's the Herald Sun horse racing journalist Matt Stewart. But I don't think any of them are them. So I, I went know. I went deep with the Matt Stewarts. Okay. And there's a lot of us. There is. We're a powerful group. Oh my god. <laughs> Can you like psychically connect with the three? Oh, okay. So wait, is, is one of them Matt Stewart one or of them three is of them Matt Stewart? Oh. Who is not Matt Stewart? So you've got to connect with three of them. Okay. <laughs> you know? You know the imposter? I connected very strongly with three of these men. <laughs> and? And they were C. No, not everyone but C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So C, C looks like, to me, C also looks like stock footage, stock, stock yeah, photo. Yeah, he looks like a man. C looks like a butt. Yeah, he looks da like da a da Yes, exactly. He looks like Ben McAvoy. And he looks, he looks like Dave's Googled, and just for fun, let's, let's Google wet man who's happy. <laughs> 
and, it, and that's what's come up. Do you know, do you know what I reckon, Dave, Tony? He's, he's Googled Matt Stewart and he's Googled Stuart Matts. Oh. And one of them's Stuart oh. Matt. And I'm looking at A, I think he looks like a Stuart out of all of them. Yeah, no, you're right. He does look like the most yeah. Stuart. With a U as well. Oh. oh. <laughs> spell it right. I don't spell it at all. <laughs> So you're saying, you're saying C, but yeah. you're thinking A right? because you think that's Stuart Matt. Yes. Stuart Matthews. Yeah. We've got a C. We've got an A. I can reveal one of you has identified the fake Matt Stewart here. The man who is not a Matt Stewart is... It is oh. A! <laughs> it is A. Well done. But I can see why Josh would connect with this man because that is in fact Joshua <laughs> Earl. <laughs> PhD! Okay, okay. Which one was Jess Perkins? Yeah. <laughs> and then one of them was Frank McNair or something. No? Which one? <laughs> He's a professor at, uh, was assistant professor in the Department of Microbiology and Im Immunology at Drexel University Drexel, College yeah. of Medicine in I Philadelphia. I was going to ask you, Josh, because you used to look up your namesakes every week for your old podcast. Yeah. And I was, I, was one, I was sort of sweating a bit. I, had, I was like, I'll choose a Josh Earl, but I was like, who can I pick that you won't recognise? No, because there's a guy, every time I type my email on my uh, website into Facebook, another Josh Earl comes up holding his kid, and I feel really weird because I'm looking at his kid every time I go. <laughs> like it's... Especially after that thing you said before. <laughs> I didn't say anything. They got cut out. What are you talking about? Like... <laughs> oh, but now we have to leave it in, otherwise it sounds really bad. <laughs> All right, let's check in. Before we go with our final round... The scores are very close on seven points. It's Josh and Jess. Yeah. They're only leading by one on eight points. Frankie and Matt. <laughs> oh. I like you on the flex. Yeah. <laughs> we are going to finish off with our quick fire true or false round. Hands on buzzers. True or false, more people search for Hotmail than Gmail in 2021 on Google. True or false? True. You are correct, it is true. Wow. Hotmail was the seventh most popular search. Gmail was 16. Number one search, YouTube. All right, true or false? When you Google her, Jess Perkins, I looked you up, Jess, her net worth is $1 million. Yeah. False. You're saying false? Yeah. You are correct. Yeah. Oh. I bet it's more. It is, in fact, $14 million. Well done, Jess. <laughs> oh, my God. Well done. It lists your bio as... Jessica Perkins can be an celebrity. <laughs> Known oh. for the toxic adventure 1984 as the character T-Shirt. <laughs> Woo! It's the first instalment of the Toxic Adventure franchise. IMDb credits Jessica Perkins as T-Shirt salesperson. Well done, 14 million. Yeah. Can I have 50 bucks? Yes. <gasps> well done. Generous. One more question. True or false, the city of Topeka in Kansas changed its name to Google. I'm going to say true because why not? It's true, why not? <laughs> they did it in 2010 to get the attention of Google who were picking five cities to roll out experimental high-speed fiber internet. They got their attention all right because for April Fool's Day, Google changed its name and homepage to Topeka. Cute. Did they get the fiber internet though? No, they did not. <laughs> the scores are level as we head into our final question. Oh, <gasps> my God. I can't handle the stress. With this one, I'm going to say if you get it wrong, you'll lose a point. So what? if you buzz in, prepare cool. to get the answer right. I love this. this. Changing this the rules one. as we go. I love Here it. Here we go. True or false, Google Translate can translate into Klingon. Oh. It's gone to Jess and Josh. True. I'm afraid it is false. Oh. Oh. Jess, how could you? <laughs> oh. I would have said true. I was going to say true as I would well. Have said true. Yeah. The only known app who does this is Microsoft's Bing Translator. Oh. Bing can and Google can't. So that means at the end of the night, on eight points, in second place, it's Jess and Josh. Well done. For winning this evening, a commanding victory on nine points, it's Frankie and Matt. Well done. Well done. Oh. You oh. get to drink oh. from the mug of victory. Oh, good. <laughs> Which I know you're excited about before. Yes. How does it feel to be winner, Matt? It feels right. It feels good. <laughs> it feels perfect. Yeah, not much has changed. Um, thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Now, Frankie, before we go, where can people find you online? I'm on Instagram 
Uh, too much, help me. Um, but uh, Frankie McNair underscore underscore is important because there's an old lady named Frankie McNair on Instagram and she's very scared. So, um, <laughs> Frankie McNair underscore. Let's get up for Frankie! <laughs> and Josh Earl from Drexel University. Yeah. Where can people find you? Uh, joshearl.com.au. And also I have a new podcast that's going to be launched, by, probably out by the time this is out, uh, called Four Burners. So make sure you get it everywhere you get podcasts. Four Burners with Josh Earl. Fantastic. Give it up for Josh Earl. <laughs> hey, thanks for quizzing everyone. But apart from that, it's goodbye. Bye. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> <laughs>